Hello everybody. Welcome to my settlers the settlers six city building tutorial or what I like to call let's build a medieval city. I am doing this to show people how easy it is to get a city up and running in Settler 6, Rise of an Empire. You can use these city building ideas and, and strategies to no matter what scenario, scenario you're in, campaign or otherwise. In fact, it is a good idea to build up your city as much as possible before completing any mission objectives in the campaign. So let's jump into it. I'm going to be doing a custom game and the map I'm choosing is Wangara because even the desert, there's a lot of green land, and it's easy. And my knight, I will be choosing is I can. Re Each knight gives you different bonuses. The reason why I like Hakan is I believe he gives you the uh, discounts in upgrading your buildings. Anyway. Let's start game. This is a free settlement map, which means that I am not to hold, be holding to any mission objectives. I can build the settlement up as I please, and this is an easy one to do exactly that, so that is why I picked it. Just for showing. Okay, here I we want go. To build up the settlement to be promoted to a higher title. Okay, so here is our to be settlement. Here is our castle. Here is our cathedral, and here's a storehouse. And this is the territory which will be come the uh, regional city there's a lot of rocks in it and I'll show you how to get rid of the obstructions and there's some grassy areas some trees and over here we have a herd of deer, or a zebra. So anyway, if you look on your the, the, the promotion panel, you need clothes, 10 cellars, and you need to upgrade your castle. 
But before that, we need some bases. We need wood. We have plenty of that for the moment. And we need food. So let's get some food going. So I'm gonna build a road because I'm gonna need to have a road going out out that way anyway. Roads planning roads are very important in your so in your city. So that's the road. Okay. Then I'm gonna build a hunter set. And I'm gonna place it right there. And as you see he's already the seller is already going there. We won't well on it. Uh, we have other things to take care of. Now we need to build a breakfast shop and try to get as many of these to run in my marketplace. So positioning is everything. I'm going to position it right over there. And I'm going to upgrade this. Um, upgrading inc increases the number of settlers working there, increases the uh, improved transportation that they use to get the goods back to the storehouse, and overall improves production. So I'm going to upgrade that. Reduces the cost of upgrading buildings. Yeah. You see, that's what I figured. He reduces the cost of upgrading buildings. So, and I'm going to upgrade that. So that we have two people working in the brick shop. Now before I do any more building, I'm going to need some wood. So plenty of wood over here. So again, I'm going to build another road, starting from here, take it out over here, And over here, we're going to build a woodcutter's hut. Okay. And now that I've secured the source of wood, I will upgrade these buildings again. So that they're fully upgraded. So now it is important to uh, have variety number of sources of food because variety will increase city reputation. So, as you can see, we can have fish, meat, bread from farming, cheese from cattle.
Well, we don't have any access to fish or cattle yet. But we do have this nice green area, and this probably can be used for farming. So, with that in mind, let's build some more roads, and I'm always thinking about my road network. I'm going to build one over here because this is another entrance to my territory. And I'm going to build one over to here. And as you see, I got rid of some of those stones. And then I think here yeah, will be good enough. Now what I could do is I could just build some roads just get rid of them to remove these irritating rocks. Okay. And I will build a road between here and here. Now I'll plop down my farm. Now uh, I have to build three fields. One over here, one over there, and one over there. While that is building, I'm going to upgrade my wood cutter so that I can get more wood coming in. You see, I'm already starting to have somewhat what looks like a road network. Okay. Let's upgrade the green farm. And then we'll cut his head again. And some of these tasks require some patience because uh, things don't happen immediately. And I'm going to build the upgrade the third time. Now I'm gonna speed some things up so that I don't have to wait that long for my next Delivery of wood, which I just received. Okay, now that I have wood, um, I'm going to build a bakery. And
and I upgrade it. And so now I have to wait. I have one delivery to wait to a wood to wait to upgrade this and then a second possible delivery to wait so that I can purchase or claim another territory. And with that purpose in mind, I'm gonna start exploring. Now if this was a campaign map I probably wouldn't, I'd probably have a list of quests or mission objectives to do, and I probably wouldn't go into areas, or towards those areas where the mission objectives are, until my city was pretty much built up, as much as I can for the mission. I really don't have to worry about this since this, this, since this is a free settlement. As you come up. Uh, let's explore the map anyway. This will be an important territory because it will give me a source of stone. I have some stone already and that will be able, I will be able to use it to get me to the next, to promote my night to the next level, so I don't need stone to meet I... <sighs> and before we look at this private territory, we're gonna go back and upgrade the bakery. In this territory we Hi. also have lots of grassy areas and cows. So this would be good for cattle pasture. It would also be good for uh, beekeeper. So as you come across areas on the map, think of what you can use it for. I think this would be good for the beekeeper because we need a larger area for our cattle and later on our sheep. Yes, my liege. On your orders. Okay. Oh, and this also has wood, and since so there's no other. This will also be a good area to build a woodcutter's camp, but we don't need that right now. We'll go on. This is an empty area. Over here I see a source of herbs. This herbs are important when your city starts getting large. Not an issue for me. But I just discovered some, some, something important. A shipwreck. There are maybe area territories that have shipwrecks or ruins As you come on. that you may be able to harvest some gold from. And the gold goes straight to your castle. We have 300 gold in the shipwreck. Okay. On our way. Let's. Uh, over here. And as we see, this is a good territory because we have a source of fish. So this will be our next territory to claim. And since my road is over here, I'm going to build... Take out my knight. 
click on the build outpost. I'm going to build my outpost about right over here. And we will be able to extend our road down into this new province. Let's continue exploring. But of course. On your orders. Okay. This has more fish. As you wish. We claimed a territory. Oh, and now that territory is ours. So what I will do is I will build a road. Go over here, have one go over there, have one uh, over there, and One over there. Now I can build a fishing hut. Not right off the road, but not too bad. Okay. Let's continue our exploration. As you come on. Another heavily wooded area. Cost is not too bad. Hi. At once. And another area with more cows. It looks like this would be a good place for a cow pasture, but the cost is a little more expensive. This may be the next area, though. So, let's put... The outpost over there. Actually, never mind. There are more important things right now, and I don't build it later. That's good to know where it is. As you wish. We need our wood for our building up. Okay, 
And now we'll, we will build a... Smokehouse. to create some clothes and all we have access to is animal carcasses so we will need to build a tan a tanner who can make tannery who can make leather clothes The only issue is that we want to make sure we have plenty of supplies. So in preparation for that, I'm going to build another hunter set. Now, if we get overladen, or overstocked with one particular supply in our warehouse, we could always stop the capture. But it's better to have more. These are replenishable supplies. Upgrade that. Okay, it's time to build the tannery. And I'm going to leave this last spot for the dairy shop. So I'm going to the tannery. Right over here. And let's bring my knight in. At once. So I have le leather clothes being produced. At my tannery, and I'm going to upgrade my castle. Let's 
Okay, that. Castle upgrade is done. Hmm. Ah, there comes the delivery cart. Okay, we are ready to promote my night. My diligence, dedication, and hard work has been rewarded. On this date, by virtue of the power invested in me, I hereby proclaim you, proclaim your promotion to sheriff with all the benefits and responsibilities. Best of luck. With the new title. I think a greater title would make me all the more efficient. I will do my best to serve you always. Okay. Well, that's just the first step in building a city. Good start. As you see, we have some new options on that. New goals to fulfill. Uh, I think that guys that gets to good start. Remember, food variety, increase food variety to increase reputation. And food variety increases its reputation. Build your roads so that pe your settlers can Use it well, have a good road network, upgrade all your buildings to the highest level so that they are the most efficient, and make sure you have the resources you need, like wood. Anyway, that will be all for now. I may do more at a later time, but for now, I'm going to say that this will be it. So, if you would like me to continue, 
learn more about building a city in seven six rise of an empire let me know bye